guys and hello world! We are back again for another video tutorial on Math Wonders. We are the group 2 and we are here to further discuss certain questions that might confuse your minds. Because here in our channel, ang basic calculus ay ginagawa nating mas basic. So first thing first, let's learn continuity at the point. We all know that the limit of f of x as x approaches to c is not always equal to its f of c. Hence, through this, we can identify the continuity of the given limit. A function can be classified as continuous if it satisfies the three conditions. First, if f of c exists, Second, limit of f of x as x approaches to c exists, and if f of c and the limit of f of x as x approaches to c is equal to each other. You can also determine if the limit is continuous if you can draw its graph without lifting your pen and the graph has no holes or breaks. Okay, so for the first question, identify all the values of x for which the limit of the function f of x does not exist. So we all know that a does not exist function happen when the right hand limit and the left hand limit are not equal to each other. Based from the graph, we can see this. And with that, we can see that the limit f of x as x approaches to negative 2 from the left is equal to 4. On the other hand, the right hand limit is here. So we can say that the limit f of x as x approaches to negative 2 from the right is equal to 13. Since our limits are not equal, we can say that it doesn't exist. Next, we can also see this one. So the x value is 4 and it is equal to 1. Hence, we can say that the limit f of x as x approaches to 4 from the left is equal to 1. On the other hand, we can also see this, which we can say that the limit f of x as x approaches to 4 from the right is equal to negative 2. Both are unequal to each other, that's why this is considered as D and E. This graph, however, also shows an infinite limit. For the second question, how will you know if a function has an infinite limit? To answer this, there are various ways to know if the function has an infinite limit, and here are the specific ways. First, check the limit by evaluating the limit of the function as the input approaches the specific value. If the limit approaches positive infinity, negative infinity, or if it does not approach a specific value, then the function has an infinite limit at that point. Second, examine the behavior of the function as it approaches the point in question. If the function's value become arbitrarily large, approach infinity, or arbitrarily small, approach negative infinity, then the function has an infinite limit at that point. Third, graph the function and observe its behavior as it approaches the point. If the graph shows that the function's values increase or decrease without bound as the input approaches the point, then the function has an infinite limit at that point. In general, a fractional function will have an infinite limit if the limit of the denominator is zero and the limit of the numerator is not zero. The sign of the infinite limit is determined by the sign of the quotient of the numerator and the denominator at values close to the number that the independent variable is approaching. For the third question, give a function f of x and a number a such that the limit of f of x as x approaches to c from the left is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches to c from the right. 
which is also equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches to c. Show the graph. For this number, our function is the limit of x squared plus 4 as x approaches to 4. So to find out if it is equal from the different sides, we will create a table of values of x approaching to 4 from the left. So we will have this. We will substitute the value of our x to our given equation, just like this. So now, as you can see, the limit of x squared plus 4 as x approaches to 4 from the left is equal to 20. We will do the same thing to the right-hand limit. First, we substitute the x and then we will have 24.25. We'll do the same thing and as a result, we got this answer. Hence, the limit of x squared plus 4 as x approaches to 4 from the right is also 20. Since we both know now the value of the two sides of our limit, we will now found we will now find rather the f of x. So here it is. Our answer for the f of c is also 20. Our acquired values are equal, which we can say that our limit exists and it is continuous. So this is the graph of it. For the fourth question, give a function f of x and a number a such that the limit of f of x as x approaches to a from the left is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches from the right. As x approaches a from the right, rather, but the limit of f of x does not exist. The function we provided here is the limit of the quantity of x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3 over x plus 1 as x approaches to negative 1. So again, the first thing we'll do is to get the value of our limit as it approaches negative 1 from the left. We will create our table and we'll substitute each of our x to our given function. So it will be like this. So the value of our function from the left is negative 4. Now, we'll find the value from the right using the same method we did earlier. And this is the result. Our answer from the right is negative 4. The two sides are equal, so we are off to finding the f of c. We'll do substitution, but as you can see here, our answer is undefined. And even though our two sides are equal, the whole given function is not equal or continuous as it fails to satisfy all the conditions. Hence, here is a graph and as you can see, there is a hole. There's a break that happened so it is not continuous. For the last question, give a function f of x and a number a such that the limit of f of x as x approaches to a from the left is equal to the negative infinity and the limit of f of x as x approaches to a from the right is equal to positive infinity. Show the graph. So earlier, we knew when the limits would be negative and positive infinity. So this time, you'll see an example. So our function here is the limit of 4 over x minus 4 as x approaches to 4. Again, to find the answer, we'll try getting the limit from both sides. So first, let's try the left side. We'll do substitution again, and here it is. Negative 4,000. Based on the table, we can see that there is no specific value of where will it approach. The difference between our acquired values are also far from each other. Hence, we can say that this is negative infinity. Doing the same thing to the values from the right, and we will also have positive 4,000. As you can see, there is once again no specific value and the differences are far from each other. Hence, we can consider this as positive infinity. 
Now we have the limit of 4 over x minus 4 as x approaches 4 from the right is positive infinity. And the limit of 4 over x minus 4 as x approaches 4 from the left is negative infinity. With that, here is the graph of our function. We can see that it is continuously going infinity and negative infinity. This ends our video tutorial. Once again, this is the group 2 and we hope that we made your basic calculus more basic. Thank you!